Hello students. So welcome back in the next part of uh, this series of lectures on uh, mensuration. We'd like to look at parallelogram, right? So what is a parallelogram? As you can see on the diagram, a uh, parallelogram um, looks like this. It's a four-sided shape. Uh, what it means is that the opposite sides of parallelogram, they are parallel. So how can we make marking on the diagram to show that it's a parallelogram? Well, all we need to do is to add in the arrows, right? Because we know that using arrows on lines uh, is one way that we can indicate that they are parallel. So when you, when you see um, indication like this, this is a parallelogram. So uh, what are some properties of a parallelogram that we should know? Firstly, the opposite angles, they are equal in size, right? Equal in size. What this means is that uh, the angle I'm marking on the screen now, this angle in red, is equal to this angle, right? And this angle here will be equal to this angle in the bottom right. Okay, so that's what it meant. Opposite angles are equal in size. Now, opposite sides, the opposite sides are also, also they are actually parallel, right? That's why they are called parallelogram in the first place, right? They are parallel and the opposite sides are, the opposite sides are also equal in length. Okay, so this is what we need to know, some basic things. Of course, there are other properties of parallelogram. We'll explore them at a later date. So the first thing we want to uh, talk about is the area of a parallelogram, right? So what happens is when we have a parallelogram like this, uh, take note, uh, they are calculated in the same manner, right? The area of parallelogram is also base times height, similar to a uh, rectangle that you have learned long time ago. Therefore, the area here will be base times height. What we need to know is that the base, which we denote using the letter B, and the height, which we use letter H for, they are perpendicular to each other. So they have to be 90 degrees to each other. It's not the side of the parallelogram. It's the height of the parallelogram. Whereas for a rectangle, the height and the side, they happen to be the same length. But uh, for parallelogram, it is not so. So remember to use the height. Now, as for the perimeter, there is uh, actually no shortcut to it. We just need to add up all the sides, right? Add up all sides. Okay, there are no shortcuts, no formulas for that. Okay, right, moving on to the next section. So, uh, what happened is because it is important to recognize that the height of a parallelogram is 90 degrees to the base, uh, here I have a little exercise where we want to be able to identify the height and the base given you know, the other, the other um, quality, quant quantities, right? I mean, we can give you the base, you give me the height, you give you the height, you give the base. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right. So uh, it's not difficult to understand. Uh, basically, they need to be perpendicular. So uh, you can pause the video and give it a try. Then after that, compare with what uh, I, I have. So let me change the color of my pen. Right. So if this is my base, then my height will be, you know, this This will be my height, 90 degrees. Right. So in this case, uh, my, my base is uh, to the side. Therefore, you no know, 90 degrees. Okay. This will be my height in okay, 90 degrees. Okay, so if my base is here, now take note, my height, it needs to be 90 degrees. Uh, so, you know, it could easily be this length. I could always extend it, right? It's 90 degrees, this is the height. This works, right? So similarly, down here, if I have a 90 degrees, right? 90 degrees, then this will be my height. Now for the second row, it given the height, what is the base? Well, 90 degrees to the, to the height, this is my base. Uh, this will be my base. This will be my base. And over here, well, this will be my base, right? Over here, this is my base. Okay, so it's not difficult to identify. Uh, so once we get used to this idea, we can start to solve some very basic questions with regards to parallelogram, right? So here's the first example. The figure shows a parallelogram, uh, A, B, C, D, sure, right? Uh, then the various lengths are shown. So what they want us to do, first of all, is to find the area. We can do that, right? So the area is equals to the base times height, right? So in this case, uh, the base and the height, the pair that we know is uh, 22 centimeter for the base, right? And for the height, we have 28 centimeters. So we work this one out. It is 616 square centimeter, okay? So to do part two, sorry, over, uh, try again. Part two, the perimeter. Well, to find the perimeter, we need the length of uh, AB. And DC. I mean, AB and DC, they are the same length, right? So, uh, AB, okay, uh, what happened is AB now is actually the area 
divide by let's use 18 as a height so if you use 18 as a height then a b is the base right so we'll, this one out this will be 34 and 2 over 9 centimeter so once we have a b we also know that this is going to be equal to c d right then perimeter will be equals to we all just need to add them up right so we have 22 plus 22 plus 34 and 2 knife plus 34 and 2 over 9 this will add up to 112 and 4 over 9 centimeter there we go right so so the area doesn't change right but of course the, we can choose a different pair of base and height so this is something that you need to be aware of right uh next example example b right so in this figure uh, we have a uh, two parallelogram over here, right? A, B, F, G, and C, D, E, F. So what happened is the sum of the area is uh, seven zero two. So that's given. Then uh, we will give given some information where the length are the same. Sure. So they want us to find the perpendicular height. So the perpendicular height of A, D, E, G, A, D, E, G is actually this height over here. So if I would extend this out to to have some clarity. This will be my, the height that we are looking at, right? This is the height. So how do we figure that out? Well, making use of our understanding of the area of uh, parallelogram, we know that um, two times the parallelogram, right? Times, right? The base twenty-seven times the height will give us. 702 right so 702 is uh, actually two times of the of the let me let me show it on the screen this area in red i'm highlighting maybe i shouldn't use red huh it may confuse people i mean i could use the highlighter so this area here highlight in green and this area here right okay this is actually 702 right uh so what happened Two of this is uh, 702 so if I put them together I, I think this is quite confusing for you <laughs> but I, I, another way to show it actually is this way right I take away this two uh, and I put the two over here I think this I think showing the working in this manner is clearer okay so what happened is uh, I have the 27 as the base times the height which is the area of one of the green parallelogram, which is half of this 702. So I think I'm writing this way is a, a, a bit clearer for you. So let me rewrite that. So I hope it, it helps, right? So when we do this, then after that, uh, we just need to divide by 27. That gives us the height of 13 meters in this case. Okay, so that's one way we can go about doing this, right? So uh, with this, uh, we have completed our examples on parallelogram hope it helps you